Welcome back to the channel. My name is Emery. Thank you so much for being here. This channel is dedicated to helping you get better at backpacking. And in this case, spending your money on hunting stuff. It's a big topic. I have an article and even a podcast on this topic. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around, check out the links in the description of the video for uh, longer form content. So I'm gonna try and keep this video quick because I could talk forever on it and I don't wanna be on a soapbox for too long. So stick around. It's gonna be great. We're gonna talk about why you should consider quitting camouflage. But before I do, let me just say this. I am not hating on anyone that wants to, to wear camouflage when you're hunting. It's your prerogative. I think camouflage is fun. I've always enjoyed camouflage, but I hit a point uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I came downstairs, looked at all my camouflage in these boxes that I was only using for like a uh, couple weeks a year, max. And there was like thousands of dollars in camouflage just laying on the ground in front of me. I took a look and I was like, this has got to stop. Because it was some of my favorite pieces, Kuyu and Sitka, everywhere else. And I wasn't using them outside of the hunting season. That's just because I don't want to wear camouflage when I'm not hunting. So started just selling it off and replacing it with solids because my thought was that I was going to optimize my money. In this video, I'm just going to give you three reasons why you should consider quitting camouflage as well. Maybe some of it applies to you, maybe it doesn't, but the number one reason is cost savings. There are a lot of things that go into this, but camouflage just naturally can cost more. Some of the patterns are proprietary. First Light has a proprietary pattern. Kuyu has one. Multicam is a great example. Brands have to pay to use those camouflage patterns on their gear. And in the example of First Light, the same, this, you'll have a solid pair of pants and a camouflage pair of pants and they cost two different prices because it costs a little more to print the camouflage. If you were to just buy solids for the rest of your life, you would save money simply by not having to pay for a proprietary pattern. The second reason for considering quitting camouflage is options. Once you quit camouflage, it blows open the doors of opportunity. You can buy stuff on sale from brands that are not hunting brands. You're no longer in this world of a proprietary pattern. So if you're wearing first light camo and you don't, and you see, you want to wear a pair of Sitka pants. Well, now you, if you're wearing solids from both brands, now you can, you, that doesn't look weird. You're not wearing a fusion and a open country and they don't look weird together, right? You have tons of options and you can save money because now when brands that aren't hunting brands put something on sale, you can buy from a non-hunting brand. I understand that a lot of hunters want to support hunting brands, so I totally get it. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is a lot of us don't have a endless amount of money to spend on every single pattern that we think is really cool. We need to make sure that our purchases are optimized. And I like the idea of being able to look around the landscape of solids and pick them up as I see fit and put them in my kit knowing that they're just solids. So I like to stick with like browns and greens and grays. Those seem to work really well. So number two, it gives you a lot more options and um, cost, cost options. So a lot of different price points. Prana stretch Zion pants are a great example of that. Not very expensive, especially when compared to a pair of pants from a hunting brand. Number three, and this is the big one, camouflage is basically just a big marketing scheme. And it makes sense, and I totally understand it. But at the end of the day, it's like wearing a pair of Nikes or Jordans, Air Jordans. Every pattern that comes out is a way for a brand to say, hey, this is me, hey, we're being used over here, and if you see me in the woods, uh, you know who I am. It's brand recognition and it's marketing. People aren't struggling to kill animals prior to a new pattern coming up. Animals have been harvested for generations and generations. There's more to hunting successfully than whatever pattern you're wearing. Brand loyalty, all of that stuff goes into the marketing of camouflage. These brands need to be able to separate themselves from the crowd and put you into their ecosystem. For example, if you buy open country from Sitka, you buy a jacket and you wanna look like one big camouflage pattern, you're gonna to have to buy a jacket, a hat, gloves, a shirt, pants, all of the above, right? From them, they get you into their funnel based on their camouflage pattern. And to break out of that is really not only hard to do, but it's really expensive to do. Now, if you wanna go, you're gonna go hunt the desert or something like that. Now you're gonna to have to redo that entire system and get into the first light ecosystem and the Kuyu ecosystem. Camouflage is more effective on your pocketbook 
and getting you in with these brands than it is in the field. Yes. Can camouflage help you close that deal with an animal? Yeah, I guess it could. But I think a lot of people would agree that wind, movement, sound, hell of a lot more important than whatever camouflage pattern you're wearing. Camouflage is the last cherry on top when it comes to harvesting an animal. If you start looking at it like camouflage is marketing, that's kind of another reason why I, I quit camouflage because I didn't want to be wholly connected to this brand Sitka or Kuyu or First Light. I want to buy pieces from each one of them and I don't want to have to buy an entire system over and over and over again. Uh, I go into more detail on this whole thing. I actually, I'm going to do a separate video on how and why deer and elk see what they see. I did a lot of self-study because I wanted to fully understand if solids in the woods would actually work okay. And I believe they do. And I think you're seeing a lot more people wearing solids. And I think that's for a reason. I think people are getting tired of having to see a new pattern come out every couple of years. Kuyu came out with a new pattern in 2020. First Light came out with another pattern that looks exactly like the other patterns they came out with. Uh, Sitka, I'm sure, is going to bring out another pattern. Uh, that could be a whole other video of how ridiculous the new patterns are and how often they come out. Um, it's a way to stimulate their company. It's to stimulate growth. So if you see your sales starting to decline, how do you invigorate those sales? Well, if everyone already bought their fusion outfit for hunting season, then they're not going to buy anything because that gear is going to last. So they and introduce another another camouflage pattern that you're gonna be like, oh, I, I need that pattern. That's gonna help me close the deal. That's exciting. So you buy the hat, you buy the jacket, you buy the pants, and it's another thousand dollars or more in their pocketbooks for what? The chance of harvesting an animal better? Deer and elk have been killed for a lot of time, a lot of years without camouflage. Everyone knows that. So yeah, I'm done with camouflage altogether. I'm just buying solids from here on out and. That's just how it is. It'll make me a better hunter by being more aware of what I'm doing. I'm not gonna rely on camouflage thinking it's gonna um, make the difference. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna argue with me, but that's just where I'm going from here on out. Again, I go into a lot more detail on this stuff in my articles that I would highly encourage you to check out. It's in the description of the video. I'm trying to bring up a new way of looking at things for people that are thinking they might need the most expensive pants and camouflage pattern out there when you really don't. Save your money, invest that money that you would have in camouflage items, put that into like some epic hunt down the road. I think you'll be better for it. I hope it was helpful. If this video was helpful, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd encourage you, if you're new to backpacking, check out the backpacking course, links are in the description. And if you wanna hear my podcast, The Byline Podcast, check out links in the description as well for that. But that's it. If you are headed out on an adventure anytime soon, be safe, make great decisions, and we'll see you next time.